welcome. Namaste. Today's practice, we'll be doing chair yoga. I like chair yoga because most everybody can access the postures from the chair. I like to use a chair that doesn't have arms so that we can use the space to the side and also something with a little stability so you're sitting up and not sinking too deeply into a cushion. So other than that, all you need is you and your chair. Grab your chair and uh, let's begin. We'll begin our chair yoga practice with a few centering breaths. So sit up nice and tall in your chair. You can put your hands on your thighs, on your knees, or comfortably in your lap and close your eyes. Pay attention to your breath as you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Just noticing the breath. And as you're breathing, just soften your face. Soften your jaw. Good. Then let your eyes flutter open and sit up nice and tall. Okay, so for this practice, we're going to keep our alignment of our ears over our shoulders and our shoulders over our hips, okay? So again, just rest your hands comfortably on your lap. Take a breath in through your nose. And then drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Just like that. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again in. And out. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Keep some nice space here. Even though you're dropping your ear to your shoulder, you're not crunching. So the shoulder is nice and separated from the ear. Breathe in. And out. One more in. Then inhale to center and take your chin to your chest. Now just start to breathe into the back of the neck here. Stay tall in the spine. Just relax into this space. If you want a little more, you can take your hands behind your head. And use the weight of your arms to stretch the back of the neck a little more. Good, then release your hands and take your chin. Good. So from here, take your left hand just to your thigh and take your right arm up. And you're going to relax the shoulder away from the ear here. Breathe in. And out. Reach up to the sky. In. And out. One more. In. And out. Left side. Reach up. And relax the shoulder away from the ear. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Now take their forearm on your thigh here and take your arm, right arm up, in, press into your leg and then exhale over. So here you're using the stability of your forearm on your leg, on your thigh, to give you a side body stretch. Again, we've got lots of space from our ear to our shoulder, so no crunching here. Just breathe into the right side body. switch. Left side, 
left arm up and left arm over. And try to keep a lift in the sternum and reach over so you can access the left side. And breathe in and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Good. Go ahead and walk your feet forward and off the ground. Yeah. Then flex your right foot and point. And flex. And point. It doesn't matter if your foot comes up high or if it stays low, just use your muscles to flex and point your toes and feet. Good. And flex and point. Good. Little circles on the ankles and the other way. And release. Take a breath and exhale. Let's use the other one. So point your toes on your left foot and flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. Good circles with the ankle in one direction and the other. Even as I'm doing this subtle movement, I'm feeling my core engage. It only takes a little for a lot to happen. Don't forget that, okay? Now take the feet back. Now, we're gonna go into something that is called Chair Warrior Two. So I'm gonna take my right knee over and place my toes facing that way. Then I'm gonna take my left leg back and the back edge of my left foot faces like this. Okay, I'm going to find my way so that the whole top of my thigh, underside of my thigh, is supported by the chair. So everything is supported by the chair. My whole femur is supported by the chair. I'm still tall in my spine, and if I were to look down and draw a line from heel to heel, they would connect. Yeah? Good. So just feel the stability of the feet here, both in place. Both feet should be grounded and my right knee is over my right ankle. If you want a little more, you can take the back arm up. Even the subtle engagement, I can feel my core working. If you'd like, you can try both. And relax the shoulders down, down again from the ears. Now your gaze can be straight ahead or it can be over your right hip finger. And breathe. Again, if this is too much, take one arm down or both arms down. Just follow the breath with your mind. Now we're gonna try a peaceful warrior on the chair. So take your back hand down your leg, take your front palm, spin it up, a reach up, and then slide that back arm down your leg, or peaceful warrior and breathe into the right side of your body. And again, your gaze can be at me. It can be back down to your left hand. You can even play with it being up beyond your right bicep. So find a nice, comfortable place for your neck. And inhale. And exhale to come out. Good. So stay where you are with your feet. You can soften your knees if you like, just to take a breath or two. And then we'll move on. Okay, back to our warrior two. Extend both arms on the inhale. And on the exhale, take your forearm to the top of your right thigh and take your left arm up. Reach up and then over your ear as well as you can. Maybe it doesn't go very far, that's okay. Just activate the hands and then ground into the foot. And you'll feel one line of energy from your left foot to your left knee. Keep your shoulder open and breathe. Good, inhale and 
think so. Come on down. Go ahead and slide yourself back to neutral. Now, we're going to keep our knees open and take our hands to our knees before we get that on the other side. So from here, I just want you to feel like a stretch in the inner thighs. You can even take your hands on the inside of your knees and, and open them a little more. Sit tall. Take a couple breaths. Maybe come up on your toes. And release. Good, let's do that on the other side. So warrior two left side. I'm sliding back so the underbelly of my left quadricep is supported by the chair. And my right foot is off my mat, but that's okay. I'm gonna look down to see heel to heel alignment again. My left knee is over my left ankle and my right leg is engaged. There it is, warrior two. Again, you can play with taking one arm up, right, or both, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears, engaging a little bit of the core, and just finding some stillness and softness. Come in and out and in and out. Now we're going to go right into our peaceful from here. So inhale and on the exhale, take your back hand down your right leg, spin your left palm up, reach forward, up and back, letting your back hand slide down your leg. So stay supported in the feet, reach up through the left third finger and breathe into the left side body and breathe. You can close your eyes. Exhale back to warrior two. Good, relax your hands for a moment. Soften your knees. Take a break before we go into our extended side angle. And back to warrior two. Engaging the leg. We've still got the left knee over the left ankle. We come back to warrior two. You breathe in. On the exhale, forearm to the top of the left thigh. Right arm comes up and on the exhale, over. Breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out. Coming out to our warrior two and relaxing the hands down. Good. Let's go ahead and find some support with a chair. Go ahead and bring your feet in. Let's take a side body stretch here. Um, so here, actually, we're going to lift the left foot off the ground and hold the knee. Try to see if you can sit tall here. Take a few breaths. Let's see if you can release one arm. See if you can replace your right hand on your knee and release your left arm. And then take both knees, both hands on your knee. Good. Other side. Holding your knee, sitting tall here. This actually engages the core hip flexor muscles just to hold your knee up like this. Take a couple breaths. And then play. Maybe both. back to your knee and replace it. Good, good, good. Take a breath just to relax. Good. 
So we're going to take a uh, twist here. Take your right hand on the outside of your left thigh and take your take your right hand, sorry, to the outside of your left thigh and take your left hand to support yourself with the chair. You can hold it down here or you can hold it on the chair itself. Sit tall on the inhale and on the exhale, you're just going to look behind your left shoulder. Take a couple of breaths just like that. And when you want to deepen the twist, you're going to do it on the exhale, maybe looking a little bit further over your left shoulder. Good, then we're going to inhale out and rest. Take a breath. Let's get that on the other side. Left hand outside of right thigh. Right hand finds the chair for stability. You're going to sit nice and tall. And then on the exhale, you're going to pull away, bring your hand to the outside of your thigh and press into that thigh, leveraging the twist and exhale, right shoulder, right gaze over right shoulder, deeping in, and out, and in, and out, one more in. So just sit, sit here for a moment. I'd like to get a little hip stretch in here. And the way we're going to do that is if you can, you're going to lift your left foot off the ground and then place your ankle on top of your right knee, just like this. Okay. Um, if you can't access it, don't worry. It's all right, but you can try. Okay. Maybe your knee comes down and maybe it stays up a little bit. That's all right. Wherever it goes, that's all right. I want you to try to flex your left foot here and then sit tall and exhale. Now, if you have this in your body, I want you to try to hinge forward at the hip as far as you can until you feel that stretch in your left hip. Keep the flex on your right foot and breathe. Keep lifted through the sternum. Just another breath or two. In and out. Good. Go ahead and come on out and release. Take a breath. Good. Take your right foot up. Place your right ankle atop the left knee. Don't be so worried about how far down your knee comes. Wherever it is, it's good for today. And then flex your right foot. Sit tall and breathe. Just sitting tall, I can feel it activate my right hip stretch. Another breath. And now we're going to hinge at the hips and we're going to find that sweet stretch in the right hip. And you're just going to find your edge, right? That sweet place between effort and ease. And then you're going to stay and breathe into the hip. I'm practicing yoga. Good. And come up. And release. So here, our version of Shavasana, we're going to sit back in the chair. I don't need, want you to slouch so much, it's just to get comfortable. You can walk the feet forward, you can rest your palms up, and then you can close your eyes. And here we just let everything go. We just let everything go. We follow our breath with our attention. a little smile to the lips to infuse our system with a sense of well-being. Just breathe. Stay 
here as long as you like. If you'd like to come out with me, you just find some subtle movement in your fingers and toes. Start to deepen the breath. Let the eyes flutter open. Come to a seat once more. Bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.